Bonnet Mbeki revered across the country, her footprints were large, touching the lives of the poor and the downtrodden. Tomorrow the nation will unite in grief. The Mbeki family will be led by her son and former president, Thabo Mbeki. Mambeki is being honored with a special provincial official funeral. A host of political figures and other dignitaries are expected. In town, we have also negotiated with the taxi industry uh, to vacate certain streets tomorrow to ensure that there is a smooth flow of traffic. But it's the people of Tukwa who are especially saddened. She worked with them and for them. Mambeki was their mentor, their guide and confidante. Uh, Mambeki helped us a lot with her projects here in Dageni. So we're going to suffer because we don't know how are those projects going to survive without her. We're not so sure if they're going to survive. They help us a lot. There's a great loss to, the, to the, the, the youth of this village. In Pretoria, condolence books were put up at the two UNISA campuses. The Embassy of the Republic of Iraq in South Africa, and I am here to express the deep condolences on behalf of the Republic of Iraq. They, they're no longer Bekis. Bekis are the national you know, assets, you know, as the, you know, as uh, Father Governor Bekis, the late, has fought for this the struggle. He has been a lady that has bequeathed to us a range of values, uh, commitment to selfless um, service, and these are things that we as uh, UNISA and me as an individual uh, will continue to cherish. Final preparations for the funeral meanwhile have been completed. Unati Bingose, SABC News, Dujua.